all out to rest. Horrible water. Yeah. 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 Still unwilling to talk about his role during the post Godra riots, Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi abruptly ends an interview with CNN IBN's current Thapar and Devil's advocate when asked if he regretted. Modi, who was speaking to CNN IBN's current Thapar and Devil's advocate, walked out midway when asked if he regretted the riots of 2002. Here's a look at what happened. Mr. Modi, let's start by talking about you. In the six years that you've been Chief Minister of Gujarat, the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation has declared Gujarat to be the best administered state. India today, on two separate occasions, has declared that you are the most efficient Chief Minister. And yet, despite that, people still call you to your face a mass murderer, and they accuse you of being prejudiced against Muslims. Do you have an image problem? I think it's not... Uh proper to say that people, there are two or three person, those who used to uh, talk in this terminology. And I always say, God bless them. You're saying this is a conspiracy of two, three people only? I have not said so. But you're saying it's only two, three people? This is what I have information. It's not the people's voice. Can I point out to you that in September 2003, the Supreme Court said they had lost faith in the Gujarat government. In April 2004, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court in open court said that you were like a modern-day Nero who looks the other side when helpless children and innocent women are burnt. The Supreme Court seems to have a problem with you. Current, I have a small request. Please go to the Supreme Court judgment. And is there anything in writing I'll be happy to know everything. It wasn't in writing, you're absolutely right. If it was it an in observation. Judgment, it is an observation. If it is in judgment, then I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to give you the answer. But you mean a criticism in court by the Chief Justice doesn't matter? This is my simple request to you. Please go to the court judgment, find out the sentence which you are quoting. And I will be happy that if the people of the Gujar uh, India should know it. Okay. It wasn't just open comment made by the Chief Justice. In August 2004, the Supreme Court reopened over 2,100 cases out of a total of around 4,600, almost 40 percent. And they did so because they believed justice hadn't happened in Modi's Gujarat. I'll be happy. And I'm happy because of this judgment. Because ultimately, the court of law will take the decision. I'll tell you what the problem is. Even five years after the Gujarat killings of 2002, the ghost of Godhra still haunts you. Why have you not done more to allay that ghost? This I gave it to the media persons like Karan Thapar. Let them do and let them enjoy. Can I suggest something to you? I have no problem. Why can't you say? that you regret the killings that happened? Why can't you say that what? maybe the government should have done more to protect the Muslims? What I have to say, I have said at that time. And you can find out the, my statements. Just say it again? Not necessary. I have to talk about the in 2007, everything, what you want to talk. But by not saying it again, by not letting people hear the message repeatedly, you are allowing an image that is contrary to the interest of Gujarat to continue. It's in your hands to change it. Oh, I'll have to rest. You came here, I'm happy, I'm thankful to you. And I can't have this It's okay. Your, your things are, your uh, ideas are, you are your three, four questions are all right, I enjoy. That's why I can't. But, but Modi sir, let me see. Modi sir. I'm not talking about doing anything wrong. I'm saying, why can't you correct the image? Okay, 
Okay, then one second, one second, one second. And to talk about that aborted interview, we have Karan Thapar here in the studio. Karan, it's not the first time that Modi has been asked the question, but the fact is it's a different election this time. There is no perceptible wave. Uh, do you get a sense that because of political compulsions, possibly Modi not wanting to say that he regrets 2002, at the same time he is possibly looking at an image change here? I actually don't know why Mr. Modi stopped the interview. I wasn't at all rude. There was no aggression in my voice. I was asking a question not so much about Godhra, but about the way Modi is perceived and the image problem he has. And it seemed to me this was an opportunity for him to address an issue, to lay to rest a ghost that's been troubling him for five, if not six years. And rather than use that opportunity, he suddenly stopped the interview. And all I can guess, and it is a guess, is that either I touched a sensitive point, a raw nerve, or maybe somewhere along the line, I worried him because he said to himself, maybe this interview is going to get worse and worse, and I must anticipate a bigger problem, and let's stop it now. I'm not sure which it was, whether he got scared that it would get worse, or whether I touched a raw nerve, a sensitive point. But whatever it was, the reaction to me seemed hugely disproportionate to what I'd asked. Right. It could have been an interesting interview. There are many points that you could have possibly covered. The whole image change that Modi appears to be attempting gradually over the few years. The Gujarat development story that he's been talking, talking about at various fora. Absolutely. In fact, when the interview ended, I said to him that my intention was to go on to talk to him about the trouble he was having within his party, the dissent, Keshubhai Patel as in particular. I wanted to talk to him not just about his achievements, and they're fairly substantial achievements, we must grant that, but the criticism his own MLAs make of those achievements so that he could reply to those. And those were things I think he would want to talk about. But for whatever reason, whatever cloud came across the horizon, he ended the interview. And I spent a whole hour trying to persuade him thereafter to go back and be sensible and redo the interview. But he simply would not agree. Well, it could have been an interesting interview. Karan Thapar, thanks very much for sharing that with us. Uh, that's Karan, of course, uh, talking about that aborted interview on Devil's Advocate with Narendra Modi.